Hello, my name is Katherine Harms and I teach harp here at Colorado State University. And right now I'm gonna speak a little bit about the harp audition excerpts from for the 2023-2024 Colorado All-State Orchestra audition. It's important that you start preparing the music as early as possible. Right now they're posted online, so I would strongly encourage you to go and print them out right away. I advise solidifying your markings such as your pedal changes, your fingerings, any inharmonics, maybe your muffles, in the early stage of your preparation. This is something you'll do in conjunction with your teacher. Uh, sometimes your teachers might have specific markings to give to you. Uh, if not, they will be the best ones to guide you as to what might work best for you. The first harp excerpt is from the first movement of Bartok's Concerto for Orchestra. Throughout this excerpt, I suggest that you subdivide at the eighth note and that you also set your metronome to the eighth note pulse. There are written metronome markings on most of these excerpts and that will be very helpful to you in your preparation. While the meter changes throughout this excerpt, the eighth note remains constant. This excerpt needs to be very clean and steady and you need to pay attention to and observe all markings in the music such as dynamics, accents, etc. In the last four measures of this excerpt, I play the E flat, F natural, and G flat inharmonically so that I have fewer pedal changes in those measures. The next excerpt is from the Bursus movement of Stravinsky's Firebird Suite. For this excerpt, you need to have full confidence in your harmonics. It's in the range of the harp that you're crossing between gut and wire strings, so you need to be sure that you know exactly where to find those harmonics. This excerpt, as well as the smetana that we'll talk about later, is right at the beginning of this movement. So I would suggest that you listen to recordings of all of these, and when you are looking reputable recordings up, you can search these particular movements and it shouldn't be hard to find these excerpts to listen to. In the second to last measure of this excerpt, I play the B flat as an A sharp to avoid a few pedal changes. The third excerpt is from the Fugue in Britain's Young Person's Guide to the Orchestra. This is also an especially common excerpt on professional orchestra auditions. 
Looking at the printed dynamics, you will notice forte, forte sempre, and a few crescendi towards the end of the excerpt. Instead of thinking of a heavy forte for this excerpt, I like to think of a very bright, light forte. Luckily, it's written for a register that speaks well on the harp. As you figure out your fingerings for this excerpt, you and your teacher will have that brisk tempo in mind uh, with the printed gold tempo. When you are working this up towards tempo, make sure that you are not sacrificing any cleanliness or clarity uh, as you increase your speed. It is always better to play slightly slower that is, uh, with a steady and clean pulse throughout. The last excerpt is the cadenza from the beginning of Smetna's Visha Rad. Not only will you get to demonstrate your rolled chord and arpeggio skills in this excerpt, but you will really get to showcase your individual musicianship, such as your unique sense of timing and phrasing. At the end of the third line, I did want to point out, I think there is a common misprint above the last group of 16th notes. They are written as 8VA, but I believe that only applies to the last group of the last two 16th notes, so the figure of four 16th notes is fully ascending. In the middle section, I advise that you study the patterns of the arpeggios by blocking them and just getting those notes in your head so you don't have to be glued to the music at that time. You wanna be able to focus on your strings and your fingers at that time. When you are listening to the recordings, be sure to pay attention to the Largo Maestoso section and the steadiness and tempo that comes in there when the horns come in, because there, that section will be conducted. Thanks for listening and please feel free to reach out to me if you have questions about HARP at CSU or anything else that I can help you with. You can find my contact information at CSU School of Music, Theater and Dance website or my professional personal website at katherineharms.com.